And in the locker room, each guy has been going over and through his own routine to get ready. But once they take the floor, they're one single unit. Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Along with Greg Anthony and Brent Perry and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Now, one more great treat for you folks. Joining us on our broadcast is Shams Sharani. I'm so great to have you with us. Thanks for taking the time to take a seat and join us here at Portside. Star-studded group, the pleasure is all mine. I appreciate you guys so very much for having me aboard. Look at the smile on Brent Berry's face. He is thrilled to have you here, Portside. Absolutely. Super excited about it. And here's a look at some numbers for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And guys, it hasn't been pretty for him in the past five games. He's having one of those scoring slumps that all players go through at some point in the season. But I know he hasn't lost his confidence, and I expect this young man to get after it here tonight. So the opening lineup for the Heat in the post, it's Jovic and Adebayo. The guard set is Rozier and Hero, and it's Butler in at the small forward. And for the Bucks. The post pair, the longtime duel of Anacumbo and Lopez. Jackson is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Prince in at the three spot. So the Bucks win the tip. Giannis outside. Here's Lillard. That one doesn't go. Some solid defense from Rozier. Hero with it. Guarded now by Jackson. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Lillard with it. Outside Jackson. Back to Lillard. Lopez against Adebayo. Lopez dishes to Giannis. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. He shams the Heat. Seem to always be in that uh, area of making a big move, thinking about a big move, certainly seeing what could be out there. What's your sense? Are they trying to shake up their core right now? The Heat always feel like they are close to competing and really trying to get to the cusp of winning a championship. The question is, can they find another star player to bring to this group? Are they willing to move the assets? And do they have the complementary pieces to go get that star player? But the Heat, we've seen it over the last four or five years. They're a team that has one thing in mind, and that's winning a championship. And they can be scary when they get to the playoffs. Playing the regular season is one thing for this Heat group. They know when the lights are shining the brightest, they can turn it up another level in the playoffs. That's what they're exposed to. Yeah, not much a defender can do against Giannis there. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, Kevin, Doc Rivers gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. Now, we talked about facing off against Jimmy Butler. The coach said, you have to compete. No one in the league plays harder than Jimmy. He's a guy who gives his all on both ends, so you can't take one possession off. Jimmy Butler, truly a two-way star. Guys? Thank you, David. Now here's Giannis. Land soft on the front of the rim and drops. Andre the Kumbo's got six. Now Giannis has great confidence, and he's playing with it here. Alert against Rogier. Hero from long range. Rebounded by the Bucks. This, of course, their first chance to play Miami this season. And on paper, you call them the better team, but they actually lost the season series against this group a year ago. Well, not only being just an all-around more improved player, Giannis has taken some huge strides in terms of building his body. His first personal foul. First team foul.
and that one misses. How is it that Giannis always seems fired up? I mean, this guy has a true enthusiasm for the game and for competition. He just delivers night in and night out. That's what makes him a star. Now, here's Rogier. 11-point game his last outing. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. And this is right around the time when one team might start to pull away. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening here. And we'll have a timeout called by Eric Spolstra. Wants to talk some things over, might be seeing some things to adjust. No one is keyed on the league like you. Is there an under-the-radar trend that you're seeing around the NBA or the next thing that you're anticipating may happen with the way the league will sway one way or the other? Talking to executives around the league, it's clear that length has been very important, but having players that do multiple things and are versatile, that is of the utmost importance right now. We saw what happened with the Celtics winning a championship this year. I think that certainly is going to have an impact on how teams are going to build moving forward. Like the Celtics, you want to have players, three to five players that are playing heavy minutes for you that are doing everything out there on the floor, not just one particular move. And looking at that replay again, just a big time block right there. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Now here's Adetokounmpo. Eight points for him. Lopez outside. Screen, screen, screen. Pass to Lillard. Six on the shot clock. And Adebayo sends it back. Good defensive play. Adebayo on the inside, helping out his teammates. And how about the agility coming from the big man? I mean, that's not something we often see from him. You know, it's never going to be, Greg, a 360 dunk when he goes up with it, but it will be two points. Mm -hmm. We do know that. <laughs> well, he's obviously got the length there to make those kind of plays. Just needs to attack more, and that time he did. And Milwaukee has possession. The Heat getting the bucket. Lillard scanning the floor. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Here's the 2K leaderboard with last season's best free throw shooting teams. The Heat in fifth. Well, it was a big focal point for them last season, making good on their trips from the free throw line. The Heat trail by five. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. This defense gets a lot scarier when Lopez is blocking shots. Now, here's Lillard, averaging 26 points a game, night in and night out, always a fact. Outside Jackson. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Miami's gone, one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's Butler. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Butler attacking in close. Such a gifted score. On the way to CBA, introducing the second apron, limiting Shams what teams above the cap can do. How does that new rule affect teams? 
decision makers tell me that they're very much keeping an eye on the second apron, not only of their team, but others. Teams that will have to shed salary because of the second apron and the amount of big contracts we're going to see teams give to players. You're going to see it at the top, but that may dwindle in the middle of their roster. But we will see a more competitive league because of these new CBA changes and less of a chance of super teams and just more parity and dispersed talent. Do you constantly read over some of these CBA agreements? I would, I would assume that you do to have a full understanding of terms like, uh, like the apron, like we just talked about, or all the other things, the luxury tax, all the things that make deals possible. It's one thing to have luxury tax. It's a whole other animal now to have the second apron. And that, yes. certainly for teams that are deep in the second apron, that limits their ability to go make major trades, to be able to sign players for more than the minimum. And we're seeing that happen to at least one or two teams around the league right now. So how will that impact things? But certainly, the CBA being 50, 60, 70 pages, that's something you pour through before every down. That is just fascinating. Here's Rogier following the basket by Giannis. Back to Hero. Let's it go with a three. Prince grabs the miss. Well, he's just really struggling right now with everything he's throwing up. Nothing really helping out in terms of his confidence. I mean, these ones aren't even close. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. And timeout is called by Eric Spolstra. He wants a minute here to get things straightened out with his team. Robinson, he's checked in for Rogier. In for the heat, number 55, Duncan Robinson. Oh. Here is Robinson. His last outing, he had eight points. Oh, it up for Adebayo, and Adebayo throws it down. And Bam with great hands there to leap up and time that one. And the Bucks with possession here. They lead by four. And Shams, nothing gets a workout like your phone. We're here, we're talking NBA, we're watching this game. We got this great group here courtside. You've got two phones working, and I'm sure there's a third hidden in your bed. Can you estimate how many texts do you send and receive a day? Is there even a number we can put with that? Kevin, how many texts do you get a day related to <laughs> NBA info? Are you coming at me? You know the job is, it's, it's hundreds of messages flooding my phone on a daily basis. And the screen time, usually in busy seasons, tends to be closer to 18 to 20 hours. But this is what we signed up for. This is what we love to inform the audience. Oh, and I know you love every second of it. So it's the Bucks now. Heat knocking down the tray. Fades away. Lopez, no luck. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Hero, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Hero can beat his opponents from all over the floor. He can get that shot off so quick. Bucks passing it around. Lillard, the pass to Lopez. It's stolen by Adebayo. Robinson for three. Rebounded by the Bucks. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of growth. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Kevin, Giannis Adentokounmpo is not one to puff out his chest and chase accolades. He said, I put the work in. That's how I get my confidence. I don't follow the media or my stats. 
What I know is that I put the work in, and I try to be the best version of myself. And that focus has served him well. Kevin? It has. You know, his dedication, David, unquestioned. And we appreciate your report. Here's Robinson following the bucket by the Bucks. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. That's his game right there. Robinson, one of the more deadly shooters in the NBA. And to Takumbo, finds Jackson. Back to Antetokounmpo. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Robinson, a screen on Lillard. Pass to Jovic. Back to Hero. Shot clock at 6. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. And the Heat, another 3. Hey, Shams, I know you're connected throughout the NBA into a lot of front offices, but have you ever thought about maybe shifting gears a little bit and working for a team? There is always intrigue into something like that, Kevin, but I've seen how tough the environment can be, and honestly, it is really much more fun to be talking to you on this side of the media world and the media equation of the NBA. But listen, there's always intrigue with the front office. And a lot of opportunities. I know you're looked at. But uh, thank you for your honesty in that one. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Smith checked in for Lopez. Bobby Portis comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Trent's checked in for Torian Prince. And it's right in for Jackson. Now, here's Lillard. He has seven. Portis, the best to right. And good that time. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Butler with the ball, picked up by Portis, and the basket is good. Butler's got nine. And Butler just taking that motion right through contact. Bucks trail by three. Smith with a screen on Hero. Trent outside. This one for three. It's hauled in by Hero. And here are the Heat now. They're on a 15-6 run. Damian Miller grabs the loose ball. Let's hope for his sake that he does not try that one ever again. Buries the long-range jumper. Lillard's got the game tied up here for the Bucks. Now that basket must be widening out right now, and he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Up top, Hero, covered by Lillard. A floater, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. And the power of Adebayo. Get off me. The Heat shooting their first free throws of the game. throw good Adebayo. Adebayo is by no means an ordinary big in this league. He's just one of the few players in the NBA who can legitimately guard one through five. A true defensive anchor. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Smith. And it's Pat Connington in for Damian Lillard. No good on the second free throw. Hard to tell coming out of college what it was that Bam Adebayo was going to hang his hat on offensively. But for sure, you knew relentless effort was going to be part of his game. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point point. When the player gets a feel for that floater, he can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard him and where your point of commitment is. Love's check in for Bam Adebayo. Shooting the ball is one thing, but being a reliable, high-character guy is another, and that's what Gary Trent Jr. is. 
Butler against Wright. The Heat have converted one of two free throws so far today. And just last season, they were at about 82% from the free throw line. So those numbers are always going to be positive. And that one falls for Love. Well, this is what you get with Kevin Love. He can slide down to play the center position. And obviously, he's a great stretch four. So that's some flexibility. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And uh, 101 left in the first quarter. Right against Hero. And the shot goes down. And the Bucks lead by two. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. So for the Bucks, their last game a loss to the Boston Celtics. Poor execution in that one. Not sure what led to the lack of focus, but coaching staff definitely not happy. And, and they made some comments themselves that some of the fault might have lied with them because they didn't go in with the best of game plans and they didn't make the right adjustments so we'll see tonight if they do butler no good milwaukee's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game about three seconds between shot and game clock right finds out to combo into the oh! Oh! oh i would love to see Giannis in the dunk contest wouldn't that be sweet Here's Hero. Puts up a deep three. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for it. Down is under the Kumbo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. We'll return shortly. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Bucks. A, a lot of high motor play from them in this one, uh, allowing them to kind of charge through the defense and find good looks. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. Tyler Hero out there with Robinson. Then there's Kevin Love. Then there's Jaime Hawkins. And it's Highsmith in at the four. The Heat trail by four. Hey, Shams, we know you've uh, reported on so many big trades that did happen. Were there ever a few that were close to happening but may have fallen apart at the 11th hour? I always wait until things are 100% confirmed, but listen, there's always a trade or two that's viewed as done but just does not happen, whether it sours, whether something falls apart. There's always one deal or two that falls apart at the trade deadline or in the offseason. But I try to wait as best I can and make sure that when I report, it is confirmed. Outstanding. Miami with the ball after the basket by Milwaukee. Outside Robinson. And again, Miami with the triple. Love the timing as Robinson comes off footwork there to get the catch and get the shot off. Onto the Kumbo looking it over. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And the free throw line was a problem spot for him in their last game. He struggled up there. And Miami making a change here. Rogier's checked in.
I think what makes Giannis special is how uncomplicated he is. The man is just an incredible, pure athlete who simply loves the game of basketball. That's all there is to it. Now, here's Rogier. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. Up and in, off to an efficient start, two for three from the field. And we continue to see Rozier taking on more responsibility offensively. Nice finish inside. Now, here's Anadokounmpo. He's got 21. There it goes, Anadokounmpo. Makes it off the glass. Giannis has got 23. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Love with the screen on Trent. It's stolen by to Takumbo. There's the lob to Portis. An emphatic LU jam. Watch out, Bobby Portis hammering home the lob. The Heat trail by five. Outside, Rozier. Love with the screen for Rozier. Off target from outside. For Milwaukee, they've gotten four of their first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooter. Pass to Portis. Fades. Miami grabs the miss. I'm shocked he missed that wide open look. He has to feel embarrassed he blew that one. We have all these great foreign players. Uh, maybe three of the top five players in the NBA are all foreign players, right? And so much was made of Anthony Edwards. Here's a 22-year-old American player who has maybe the charisma, the game, the everything you could package. It could be our next great player. Is there ever talk around the league about why are European players being so dominant? Where are the great young American players to compete against this great influx of international players? The grassroots programs, you have to look at what happens abroad and in the States. You have to give a lot of credit to the way that they develop players over in Europe. In any of those regions, they do a great job. And those players are hungry. They're driven. They're passionate. They're trying to get here to the States and play basketball at the highest level in the NBA. And you see at the amateur level, there can be a lot of fluidity, there can be a lot in flux, and players are given so much so soon in America. So to be able to have that chip on your shoulder, to have the passion and to exude the confidence that Anthony Edwards has, the younger generation of players definitely have someone that Anthony Edwards to look up to. Now, here's Rogier. on a bio with a screen on right. Puts it up from 12, and the rebound goes to Lopez. Bucks leading by six. And right kicks to Giannis. Big time slam, Giannis! Oh my! This is what makes Giannis such an elite player, his ability to score in those difficult situations down low with lots of bodies around. Outside, Hero. Hakez outside. Here's the three. Traps in the tray. Hakez has got five points in the quarter. Well, that's a shot he can hit. If you give it to him, you need a little more energy on defense that next trip down. And we've got a timeout called by Doc Rivers. He wants to regroup and go over the strategy.
looking now at the numbers for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Coming off a terrific season. Last season put up about 30 points a game. 11 rebounds and 6 assists. And he does a great job of just attacking the glass. Really determined to track it down. Anticipation when it comes to rebounding. That can separate elite ones from average ones. Here's Giannis. 43 points out last game. Jackson finds right. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. So Shams, when the league brought in that 65 game played rule, it sure seemed to motivate players to suit up. Those awards aren't just about prestige, Kevin. They're about cold, hard cash. And every summer, we're going to see records set for the biggest contract in NBA history. Every summer that goes by, and that certainly has an effect on players wanting to play and players being in the lineup. Now with the 65 games played rule, there is an incentive for all NBA team and different accolades. Yes, well said. Free throw drops for right. And so right nails both of them. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Right against Rogier. Now here's Adebayo. Defense right on him. He gets it in there. And really over the last couple years, Bam getting more comfortable in that mid-range. And we're seeing the results of his hard work pay off. Trent passes to Jackson. Pass to right. Now here's Lopez. Just five to shoot. Jackson from long range. And again, the Bucks miss. The Heat trail by five. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, the Heat are always a tough-minded bunch. Jimmy Butler says, I just think nobody cares on the team. Make or miss shots, we're going to be who we are because we're not worried about anybody else. So that's what I think it is. The I don't give a darn factor. I'm paraphrasing, Kevin. You get the picture. <laughs> you are G-rated. Hey, thank you, DA. Dominating in effortless fashion. This is what Giannis does on a consistent basis. Outside hero. Back to Rogier. Pass to Robinson. Let's it go from deep. And Wright pulls it down. And so it's Wright bringing up the ball for Milwaukee. Seven-point differential. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scorers from a season ago. Second, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Torian Prince, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Damian Lillard comes in for DeLon Wright. He'd also with a sub. Jimmy Butler, he's checked in for Duncan Robinson. Jackson kicks to Giannis. Giannis says, get off me! He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Outside Butler. Back to Rogier. And it's sent back by Lopez. Butler against Andre Kumbo. Pass to Lillard. Going inside, and Lillard throws it down. Now, when Dane's on the move, you know something good's going to happen. The Heat trail by 11. Outside, Hero. From outside the arc, 
That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Heroes got his second bucket of the night. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. And Doc Rivers has called a timeout. He wants to talk to his guy. Switch here. Robinson's checked in. Bucks leading by eight. Prince outside. Outside Jackson. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Milwaukee, no good that time either. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three pointers in the first quarter. Butler finds Hawkins. Back to Butler. And there's Butler with the flush. Jimmy's such a well-conditioned athlete using that vertical he has to get up and throw it down. Milwaukee's gone 0-2 from deep here in the shot. Lillard, the pass to Lopez. It's Prince on the wing. Jackson against Robinson. Here's Lillard, and Lillard throws it down. And Dame Lillard with tremendous concentration there. So the Heat, their last game, a win against Minnesota. Adebayo with a screen on Prince. Butler gets a step. That's a two from Rozier. Rebound Giannis Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo's got rebound number eight now on the night. He's been the setup and the slam by Giannis. That's a nice toss up there, so you got to like the timing. But, of course, that's Giannis. He's going to grab anything. Now Rozier. Outside Robinson. Back to Rozier. Adebayo with a screen on Lillard. Shot clock at five to the inside. And Adebayo throws it down. Nice roll by Adebayo, just having himself ready to receive that pass. Here's Jackson. Still scoreless. Lillard outside. Adekumbo kicks to Prince. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort that burned on that one. And it's Butler with the jam. Yeah, pretty good show of strength there by Jimmy Butler, able to convert even after the hit. And he's got his first chance at the line here. A different look for Miami. Nico Jovic has checked in for Jaime Hockett. And it's Tyler Hero in for Duncan Robinson. Always one of the hardest workers on his team. Jimmy Butler knows how to win. Rozier against Lillard. Pass to Lopez. Here's Jackson. And Jackson throws it down. Fundamental play there from Lopez spotting the open man and then sending him the ball. And here's Rozier. He brings it up for the Heat. Trailing by 10. They've got the Pistons ahead of them in their next game in Detroit. It'll be just the fifth of this long seven-game road trip. Here's Butler. Hard earned by Butler. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Milwaukee's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Right side out of the Kumbo. 
Fires for three. Sinks the triple. Giannis has got the lead up to 11 now for the Bucks. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Outside Butler. Here's Jovic. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Butler's got six assists here tonight. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from range. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Lillard, the pass to Prince. Back to Lillard. Pass to Jackson. Now Lillard. Rogier defending. Giannis inside. And the dunk by Giannis. And we see this often now from Giannis. His offensive repertoire has become so versatile. We've got 113 left here in the second. Psalms, it's been fun. And you know what? It's been too short. So you got to promise you're going to come back and give us some more inside information on the NBA. We have loved every second having you here courtside with us tonight. Sorry I was not able to bring any big news on air this time, but you know what? My phone's ringing, so maybe next time. Well, let me look at your phone. Wait a minute. That is big news! Holy cow! Come back sooner than later, okay? Thank you. So great to have Sham stop by. You can see his passion for the game and every word he says. Now you can't work as hard as Shams does without having a passion for the NBA. It's not easy to be that plugged in. Second team foul. Thirty-five seconds left to play here in the half. Rejected by Prince. Just has lost the field in terms of scoring here in the second half. And Damian Lillard with the jam. It doesn't take much or long for Lillard to catch fire. An incredible offensive talent. There's 21 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Hero passes to Butler, and it's Butler with the jam. They've worked hard to get this lead. Can't start giving up easy slams all of a sudden. Yeah, uh, GA, that's right. And that was easy. Gift wrap for him. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. And so it's Milwaukee holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, guys. Torian, what's been the key so far? Ball movement, doing what we got to do defensively, uh, competing, showing effort, and translating it to offense. That mix has worked really well so far, man. Thanks. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Welcome in for halftime. And what's on tap, you ask? I can answer that. So far, it's been a nice outing for the Milwaukee Bucks. Offense is clicking right now. They're playing high quality ball, selfless. I'm surprised they're not up by more. You know, that being said, Jack, you can't get complacent. Gotta keep stepping on that gas pedal. All right, let's turn now to take a look at how the Eastern Conference is shaping up. And a look here now at the Bucks. They knew it was going to be a tough year, and I got to say, it's been hard to watch them fight looking through all these challenges. You hope they're learning something out there. Challenging times for the franchise. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. We hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. You look at Andy Kumbo in this one. He's been everywhere. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half. Just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half. I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient.
the Heat trail by eight. One thing you can pretty much count on with the Heat, Brett Berry, they're going to grind it out. Yeah, this team has always been built around tenacity and toughness. Even with the big three, with LeBron, D-Wade, and Bosh, there was a bit of a metamorphosis with the way LeBron approached games. Kind of being hated on was something they embraced, and that culture demands that hustle accountability and will consistently be about their culture. The post pair, the longtime duel of Anacumbo and Lopez. Damian Lillard out there with Jackson, and it's Prince in at the small forward. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. The first free throw is good. Analytics or the eye test? The optics or the numbers in front, Greg? When you're judging the performance of a player, what kind of criteria do you use? Well, an MVP candidate recently said, my eye test tells me this guy's a terrible defender, but the analytics tell me he's a great defender. I I'm confused, and, and I often feel the same way. And out of bio, drops them both. You know, Brent, when you wonder why GMs take a risk on Project Big Man, Bam Adebayo is an example of why they do just that. Yeah, Kevin, it's not always about the project working out. It's about teams that have a plan for the project, and certainly Miami was able to do that. And you have to credit Bam. He put the work in. The guy has been solid. He's an all-star. He's continuing to improve, and he gives you everything on both ends of the floor every night. Here's Rozier. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Rozier's got six points. The more of those mid-range jumpers Rozier hits, the more the passing lanes will open up for him. To the paint. There's Lopez with the three, trains the three-pointer. Lopez has got himself on the board with three there. He does so much out there to stretch out the defense when he's out on the perimeter, and he drains the triple. And the Kumbo on the double team. Lopez with the steal. Now the Bucks moving it up. And the jam by Andrew Kumbo. I think Giannis loves that kind of stuff right there. His dunks sometimes get vicious. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Rozier the pass to Jovic. Outside, Hero. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Well, Branson's entering the NBA. Tyler Hero has been a constant scoring threat. Yeah, Kevin, the scoring for Tyler Hero is always going to be there. He is a bucket, but the defensive improvement and really just the physicality that he needs to play with, those are areas that Tyler could shore up a little bit to make sure he's on the floor for some of the biggest moments of a season. First one falls for him. And, and Hero, one of those guys who just rely on coming in and giving you that offensive pop. There's a lot of things for his team on that end of the floor. Both shots good from the strike. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Giannis passes to Lillard. Jackson against Hero. Pass to Lillard. Now here's Giannis. That three off the mark. Yeah, just the first miss of the half there. They have to be happy. Three of four to start it off. Rozier the pass to Jovic. Outside Butler. Jam by Butler. That's a little something special from Jimmy Butler. There's serious elevation. And we've got a timeout called by Doc Rivers. He's ready to talk things through with the team.
chance to check out stats for Damian Lillard. Great showing for him last season. He averaged 24 per clip, 7 assists and 4 rebounds. And so much of what they do on offense depends on how he plays. But he attracts serious attention from the defense, and that really does open up the backside for a lot of his teammates to take full advantage. Pass to Rozier. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. The Heat trail by 10. Here's Jovic. Here's Butler, and another basket for Miami. Now, Butler can't get into the paint. He's got some offensive options. He has the touch from the mid-range. Outside Jackson. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Pocket six. And Antetokounmpo swings it in. Contact just doesn't matter against Giannis. Once he's inside, he is not to be stopped. And here's Rozier. He brings it up for the Miami Heat. It's a 10-point game. Jovic, no good. Milwaukee's gone into the three-point range four times in halftime and buried two of them. Jackson looking it over. Pass to Prince. Milwaukee is to get off a shot here. And the basket by Lillard. And that's been Lillard's forte ever since breaking into the lead. The Heat trail by 13. Rozier kicks to Hero. Jackson against Butler. Over Jackson. And it's Butler missing. The Bucs have gone 6 of 8 on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. The Heat have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. With the shot, and he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. And this is the type of score that Jimmy Butler can be, especially when he's getting to his spots. Jackson passes to Lillard. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. Lillard's got the lead up to 13 now for Milwaukee. The Heat have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. They double him with Giannis. Three-pointer, Butler. Oh, Butler draining the three. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break. And that's his first three of this half. Bucks leading by 10. Lillard outside. Lopez sets a screen for Lillard. And a miss there on the triple. The Heat have gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempts since halftime. And it's Rozier missing. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. Total letdown by the D. Can't leave the bucket unprotected. Absolutely. And it attacks an easy two points onto the lead. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. And here is Rogier. He's got six. Jimmy Butler finds a way through inside. Defense had the right idea there, but maybe not enough time in the weight room. Butler right through them. For Milwaukee, they've gone 8 of 12 from the field since the beginning of the third. Pass to Antetokounmpo. An easy two points on the way. Antetokounmpo's got 47 points. Well, with the finish line in sight, this guy is determined to be the one to put the game away. Hero from long range. The rebound by Prince. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Pass to Lillard. Prince against Adebayo. And Lillard throws it down. Oh, man, tonight it's game time. And when Lillard gets hot, it's a sight to see.
Rozier with the ball. And Brent the Bucks last season bowing out in the first round. And the injuries they sustained sure didn't help. Well, there's just so much, Kevin, that is on the shoulders of Giannis. So to see him go down, you know, with that, the hopes of a Milwaukee title run. It's a reoccurring theme that we talk about every year. You gotta be healthy in the playoffs. And these guys have just had players that they rely upon not be ready. Alert against Rogier. At the top of the key, Lopez. Pass to Jackson. Rogier against Lillard. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Another reminder that Damian Lillard can be explosive, and we love it. The Heat trail by 13. Outside, Hero. Back to Rogier. Outside, Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. And way to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Milwaukee's gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Prince dishes to Lillard. Lopez a screen on Rogier. Lillard against Rogier. Pocket two. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Lillard's got 14 points now in the second half. Loads it up for Adebayo. Lopez with the steal. Now the Bucks moving it up. Nobody near Lillard. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Giannis has got four assists in the game. Miami with the ball. They trail by 16. Rozier kicks to Hero. Pass to Jovic. Hero with it. Guarded now by Jackson. Oh, and the jam by Butler. And he does it with and without the ball. Butler stuffing that statue. Milwaukee's gone to the three-point shot eight times already in the second half and hit four of them. Outside Jackson. Inside. Here's Yuck. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. So Rogier will bring it up for Miami. Pass the buck to the middle. Here's Hero. And he uses the glass on the layup. Hero's got nine. Fighting the inside defender, Hero really works to get to the bucket. Milwaukee leading by 14. Lillard, the pass to Lopez. Back to Lillard. Rozier with the steal. And Adebayo throws it down. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Trent comes in for Prince. And it's DeLon right in for Jackson. Jaime I mean, Jaquez, he's checked in for Miami. Robinson comes in for Ogier. throw good out of bio and Brent if the super team era is indeed coming to a close the Miami Heat were one of the most successful examples yeah Kevin you're obviously referring to the Heatles with LeBron James Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh I, I think there are some fans out there that go back to when it was that they had that press conference and were throwing up six seven eight and so two titles yes of course amazing chances to win championships Amazing. Could there have been more? Yeah, possibly. Outside Robinson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Gary Trent Jr. Felt like he was getting more and more hungry as he got closer to the rim. Jimmy Butler just tenacious there.
first free throw is good. And Jimmy Butler put together, Brent, one of the all-time playoff runs, leading the Heat to the finals in 2023. Yeah, you don't want to live in or dwell on the past, but man, Miami being the eighth seed that year, Kevin, and with Jimmy putting up 38 a game in that first round against the Bucks, guy earned the MVP at the Eastern Conference Finals. What a run. Jimmy Butler just seems to raise his game come playoff time, Brent. It is a thing of beauty. It's pretty awesome to see that kind of confidence where a guy just lays in the weeds for a little while and then in the biggest moments comes in and stands out. So that's not always just about Jimmy Butler. It's about his team having that kind of confidence in how he performs in the biggest moments. Here's Butler. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. There's Portis, and Portis throws it down. And bigs like Portis can get up and make those dunks look sweet. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Hero passes to Butler. The body control from Butler. Wow. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Bucks leading by 14. Here's Lillard. He has 35. Drives from 16, and a wide-open look for Portis. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Butler. And another basket for Miami. You really got to tip your cap to him in terms of how he's played today, even if they end up losing this game. Lillard against Hero. Loads it up for Giannis. A pie to stop the alley -oop. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> Giannis on the Kumbo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Bucks. He's looking to make history here today. Who knows how many points he'll end up with when it's all said and done. Back right after this. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? What an advantage if your off guard can make plays so valuable. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. They've got out of bio. Jaime Jaquez is out there with Kevin Love. Then it's Duncan Robinson. And it's Rozier in at the one spot. And here's Trent outside. The Heat trail by 17. Outside Robinson. Back to Love. Over onto Takumbo. And it's Love missing. And the Bucks, their shooting has been just uncontainable. 72%. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. And here's Rozier. He brings it up for Miami. Pass to Hockett. Portis against Adebayo. For the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Well, he's got to score around the basket. That's where Bam Adebayo does most of his damage in traffic. Right finds Connaughton. And here's Trent. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And the Bucks lead by 20. And certainly, they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Here's Autobio. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. 
Well, G.A. Adebayo came from very humble beginnings. Yeah, raised by his mother. And Kevin Bam's main motivation in life was to get her out of that trailer. He worked extremely hard and now arguably a top 25 player. He throw good out of bio. And out of bio drops them both. Milwaukee leading by 18. And Wright kicks to Trent. Wright with a screen on Robinson. Pass to Portis. It's stolen by Adebayo. The kick out to Rogier. A three-pointer off the mark. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And under to Kumbo, sends it in. Watching that guy put on a burst of speed, he takes up so much of the floor. The burst by Giannis. The Heat trail by 20. Rozier looking around. Hakez outside. Good on the triple. Pretty much no one's going to pass up a shot like that so much for the defense. Portis against Adebayo. Here's Giannis, and onto Takumbo, spins it in. And Portis knows this system well, try to make the good to great pass. For Miami, they've gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. And Rozier, here we go. That one falls. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. And right kicks to Adetokounmpo. And Adebayo sends it back. And a menace defensively, Adebayo with the SWAT. He, he's an all-defensive team member for a reason. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. Milwaukee making a switch. Jackson's checked in. Heat also with a sub. Jovic is checked in. And Milwaukee has possession. They led the game at one point by 20. Giannis inside. Robinson on him. A putback. Another one goes. Incredible. And he's nearing the single game franchise record in scoring. Absolutely on fire. Already a night to remember. And approaching some history to boot. Robinson for three. The shot. No good. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Yeah, you could throw that pass just about anywhere, even the top of the square for Giannis to go and get. And Miami has possession. Pass to Jovic. Back to Rozier. Adebayo with a screen for Rozier. No good on the triple. Bucks leading by 21. Trent outside. Trent a screen on Rozier. Portis with it. Plays it up off the glass. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Pass to Jovic. is outside. Now Robinson. And here's Adebayo. Defended by Portis. Here's Trent. Crashes it down to finish the break. Yeah, it feels like Portis was communicating before he even set that one up. That's a great look. And here are the Heat now. Robinson on the wing. It's Solomon. It's a Kumbo. Now the Bucks moving it up. 
corners Portis, and Portis throws it down. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. So Rozier will bring it up for the Heat. Now a timeout called by Miami. And Brent, when you talk about the best player in the league, Giannis has got to be in that conversation, correct? Yeah, there's no doubt, Kevin. I mean, the numbers he puts up are incredible. It's how easily he dominates a game and just how unstoppable of a force he is. You know, there's so many teams out there trying to find answers for what Giannis is doing to them offensively. But how do you equip a defense to slow down the force that is Giannis at Pentecuba? Check in for Jackson. Then for the Heat, Jimmy Butler comes in for Jaime Hawkins. And Hero subbed in for Rogier. Johnson against Hero. Pass to Autobio. Back to Hero. Looking to end the run. Hits the three point bomb. And you could tell Tyler Hero has put some hours in shooting the rock. Here's Giannis. We've heard players and coaches complain, Brent, that the rules are too skewed in favor of the offense. You think that's true? Well, Kevin, offense sells. And the fact that we've talked about how the league has increased pace, you don't really even have time to play defense in today's game. The one thing that I do like is that the league has allowed for some variance and some zone defense to start to be employed. So tactically, coaches are trying to throw different strategies out there. But man to man, man, it's hard. Loads it up for Adebayo, and Adebayo throws it down. And the coaching staff continues to impress upon Bam to keep exploring all of his offensive talents, his confidence sky high. Milwaukee's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Portis the screen. Giannis outside. Good, he hits again. And never in the history of the franchise have we seen a game like this. He's putting on a remarkable performance. It's their all-time single-game scoring record. Their fans will be reliving this game for a little oh, wow. wow. We are going to remember that one oh, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. The Buck shooting has been out of this world. 74% from the field. Here's onto Takumba. Oh! oh. Typically, it takes Giannis one stride to get where he wants to go. And in that one stride, he's covering so much ground, you can't keep up with him. For Miami, they've gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. Outside, Robinson. Butler against Connaughton. From the arc. Milwaukee with the rebound. Now, here's Trent. Pass to Connaughton. Portis with it. He's covered by Hero. Johnson, a wide-open look. Offline with his three. Miami's gone a disappointing 2-6 on three-point attempts here in the fourth. It's Solenbaugh, it's Akumbo, and it's the Bucks on the break. And Jan is showing you we can lead the offense through him. He's shooting it very well tonight, around 57%. Robinson sets a screen for Hero. Puts up a three, bangs home the trifecta. 
Heroes got six here in this quarter. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Johnson against Hero. Back D on us. Robinson pulls it in. He'd have gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. And Abayo. Great D that time from Portis. Here's on to Takumbo, and he finishes nicely on the way. And take a look at Giannis in his first year as opposed to now. That's strength coming into play now. Now Butler. Brent, of all the things I could ask you, I've, I've thought about this one. What would you say is the most important thing a team has to do to be an NBA champion? Kevin, it's pretty simple. Accept your role. And when that happens, stars will be stars, and role players will be there to support the stars in any way they possibly can. But to accept your role and to sacrifice for the good of the team, it's going to give you a chance to hold that trophy. And the Bucks with some changes. Bo Champs checked in, and Rollins subbed in for Johnson. Terry Rozier's checked in for the Heat. physicality that Bobby Portis brings to the game is something that his teammates really get behind. It makes him such an effective player out there, impacting the attitude of so many. Count the basket. The assist, Terry Rozier the third. Here's Rollins. It's Antetokounmpo on the wing. Another bucket! Wow! 71 points and no end in sight. Young fella is in the zone. The defense right now looks helpless. And here's Rogier. He brings it up for the Heat. Outside, Hero. Back to Rogier. Down low, here's Butler, and slam dunk by Butler. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Milwaukee's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has yet another bucket. And he's now tied for the fourth most points in an NBA game. Time. He is knocking down everything. It's truly one of the greatest games in league history. He cannot miss. 73. <laughs> what a number. Tying Will. Oh, oh, that was huge. Incredible. Oh, and Bam taking flight. A minute 50 left to play in the final quarter. Rozier against Rollins. Giannis outside. Good, that's another bucket. Unreal. He's got the fourth most points ever in an NBA game. This man is on another planet. I mean, what can you say? One of the all-time individual games in NBA history. And honestly, guys, I don't know how you stop him. I mean, he's into the mid-70s scoring-wise. Wilt's 78, Kobe's 81, and Wilt's 100 are the only higher scoring games ever. Knocks down the three ball. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Bucks. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And ever win important. And this one will go down as win number three. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Giannis Antetokounmpo. 
Oh, just a force on the glass. Did a fantastic job crashing the boards and coming up with seemingly every rebound. Good work there as it goes. Well, at this point, they're just trying to get back in sync. You, you want to play a good brand of basketball. And consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams. And tonight, they just did not find it in this contest. Saw the opportunity to put this away, and you could see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Well, they're passing to Autobahn. And he slams it down right on top of Bobby Portis. And as Adebayo's career is moving forward, he's developing into a more consistent scorer. 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Antetokounmpo. Connects again. And that score moving him clear into third all time for scoring in a game. Well, G.A., you just knew it was a matter of time the way he's been playing. I'm sure he's not finished either. Well, he has already cleared Wilt Chamberlain's 78 points. Next up is Kobe's 81. And if he passes that mark, the basketball world is going to be talking about this guy for years. And he gets it to go. Butler's got 46 points. Well, I like Butler down low, fighting for points. Here's Rollins. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much, Giannis. Huge, big win tonight. How did you do it? I think we just had fun. Um, I think our guys were running to their spots, and we were able to drive the lanes, and they made the right pass, and we were knocked down shots. The ball was moving. We were defending. We were having fun. So that's why we got to win. So you need to patent that formula, I guess. Congrats on the win, man. Thanks. Back to you. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. And as we leave you, we give you our player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.